S H A M E D. We be going in. Recognize a real squad when you see mine. Don't it seem odd that we live like the police guy? Press pause on the raw explicit. Unashamed of the truth, but unafraid. The living still afraid of the living, though I see my dough rise. One of those guys acting like nobody know guy like I do. Speak my peace, keep my peace, so I ain't gotta keep my peace. Peace, thick, thick like a chain, try to take a leg about it. We ain't unashamed just because we rap about it. Nah, we unashamed cause we live it. I'm throwing out the real so they probably catch a feelings. Give it away, give it away now. Nah, 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 that ain't it. I don't feel until I hear them how to. Yeah. Uh, what's up guys? What's up TTC? What's up everybody else out there watching this video? Clemson Nation. It's just about that time. College baseball postseason and man there's not much better time. I'll put that right up there with the basketball tournament. I know a few other fan bases around here do too so we'll have a video about that after the selections committee comes out with the field should be next week. Today's video response to BVD and also take you to one of my favorite places around here where I live. Uh, but let's get right into this response to BVD. A lot of you guys, I've made videos, multiple videos on this now. A lot of you guys know that I'm a uh, firm believer in Christ, but it wasn't always that way. And everybody has questions, you know, up until a couple of years ago, I was in the same boat as a lot of other people. And uh, as far as BVD goes, you know, I've been watching your videos on here since 2009. Since the start of that 2009 season. I was watching you, Richard, uh, uh, Bill, Zeklon, all you guys. I was watching y'all that whole season before I got into it the year after that. And obviously I've seen a lot of stuff that you've made, a lot of uh, your walk through all this different stuff that you've been going through. And I still don't know the whole story, so I can't get on here and act like I do. But I do know uh, that you've had a lot of struggles in your life. And like you said, you know, some days you just feel like you don't care. I've been there too. But to come on here, let's talk about this afterlife thing a little bit. And also a point that DJ David made about not wanting to put your faith in somebody else's face. So let's get into both of those a little bit. First of all, one leads into the other. The only way that you can get to heaven as many Christians believe, as followers of the Bible believe, is through Jesus, you know, a relationship with Him. Good deeds, you can do all the good deeds in the world, and that's obviously a good thing to do. You're supposed to do good deeds, but you're supposed to have a relationship with God. And, you know, when you, when you get to heaven, and Jesus is there waiting for you, you might have done these good deeds and stuff, but you had the opportunity. You know, you have, you live in America where you have a lot of Christians around you who can, who you can go to with questions. You have Jesus pretty much in front of you. You have people who are willing to share with you. No, I'm not here to judge anybody. You know, you're where you are in your walk. Uh, you have your beliefs, and I respect that. But, as far as not sharing too, another thing DJ David said, not sharing because you know you don't want to put your faith in anybody else's, get annoying and all that. To an extent you're right. You know, there's people who sit there and just shove it down your face constantly to the point where it turns you off. I understand what you're saying about that. And on the same level though, you know, you were we're called to spread this word out because we care about people, you know, I I get on here and I'll, I'll talk about this stuff because I care about uh, all you guys and I care about everybody. That's, that's the reason that we're on here doing this because we know that through Jesus is the only way to get to heaven and, um, you know, we just want to try to help as many other people come to Christ as we can. That's the ultimate goal as a Christian. That's part of being a missionary, you know, that's part of the reason once you're saved that you're called to do that's that's the, literally the ultimate goal on earth other than worshiping and walking with God is to try to help as many others and if you're not doing this then you know you're not following the word uh, that's just my beliefs that's what I feel like I've been led to do is to try to lead as many people to Christ as I can and as far as I know how hard it is for people to believe too and as, saw, as far as I see 
I did a lot of soul searching. I was lost for a while. Um, you know, I looked for answers in a bunch of places. Throughout high school, I was not a strong Christian at all. First year or two after high school, still, you know, wandering. And, you know, when I first got saved, the closer you get with God, the more convicted you feel, the more you feel like you're going down the right path. And all the stuff that you used to not think more of, you just start to think of that stuff as, you know, there's no way I want to do that. No, yeah, there's still going to be sin. There's still going to be, you know, sin wanting to do some of that stuff a little bit, but you have to overcome that. And um, the, the whole thing behind all of this is love, you know. Whether you believe or not, God loves you. Jesus loves you whether you believe or not. Uh, you know, that's that's a huge thing that helped me come to it. You know, this this guy died for me when I could care less at the time. Um, the amount of love that's there, you're not going to find that love anywhere else. And you really do start to feel it if you start to walk in there. You really do start to feel it. I know it sounds far-fetched to a lot of people. Everybody has their own beliefs. But as a follower, I can say personally that I have... I feel so much like I've gone through a lot of stuff lately and over the past few months, year, whatever. I've had a lot of bad stuff happen and uh, a lot of good stuff happen too. But through all of that, I haven't ever felt this want to just give up. You know, it through Jesus, you start to feel like you're on this mission. And I, you know, I feel so led and I feel like my life is to help lead others to Christ through a bunch of stuff and obviously I've got all the other stuff I have to worry about too but it really brings me a, a sort of peace that I never had before a sort of peace that uh, it's unexplainable it's something that you can only experience through Christ and it overwhelms your heart and it kind of gives you a feeling of love how to treat others and all this other stuff but basically that's that's where I'll leave off on this video. Once again, you know, if you have any questions, you can shoot me a question or a DM or any of that. But yeah, basically, the afterlife is going to be amazing for all those who believe. We're promised riches and a mansion to be close to God more than we can ever even imagine. And that's what I'm living for. And, you know, once you get closer, it really is mind-boggling. But that's all I got for this subject, guys. Uh, let's take you to the river. All right, guys, here in uh, Fountain Inn with the commission as usual. Our little getaway spot down here. Uh, it used to be an old mill. Now it's just uh, the mains. Water is actually Supposedly you're not supposed to get in it because of pollution, but hey, why not? All right, let's go get in it. Got plenty of these guys around here. You see at least like four or five every time you come down here, but hey. Got a starting point right here. Looks pretty safe to cross. Let's give it a try. Alright, let's do us some crossing here. Always a snake or two in there, but we'll be alright. Polluted to make it much easier. Well, it's fun while it lasted. We're definitely about to get nailed by a storm here. 
out in the middle of the freaking water. They treated back to the Jeep. That's enough for today.